So for this workflow, I wanted to try something different and actually take you out on the natural setting that I'm used to when I'm using this workflow. So let's see how this turns out. I'm going to try to do this one handed. Um, so I took off my Apple Watch and I'm going to open up the drafts app right here. And now I'm going to click on the microphone to start my voice dictation. So now basically it's going to start recording anything that I say into this drafts app and then I can just click check mark once I'm done. And that's it. So this is just the first process of how I do this workflow. So I'll show you in a second what the second process looks like because right now it looks like it's going to start pouring and unless my super note is going to be or is waterproof it's going to get ruined so i don't want to take it out right now so i'm gonna go in a, in a second and show you what the second part of this workflow looks like it started raining before i could show you the process of how you would do this on the phone it's very similar to the watch experience so for an easier shortcut I created a widget and just put it in here so using the widget you can just actually just click on the little voice um, microphone here and you can start dictating as normal and then once you're done you can hit create and then if you wanted to use you don't have the widget you can just click on the drafts app and then at the bottom or you can click on the plus to start a new dictation and then at the bottom where the toolbar is you're going to look for the one that says insert and with the little microphone next to it so you're going to click on that and then now it starts your voice dictation like usual and then once you're done dictating whatever you want on here you can hit create and then it'll be finished so now I'm going to show you the second process and how what you would do after you've done all of this Okay, so now I'm going to show you what the second process of this workflow looks like. So let's say you just came back from your walk and now you did all your voice dictations and now you want to share it to your super note so you can edit it. So what you're going to do here is now you're going to go to the top right corner and then you're going to click on share. So this uh, piece of the process right here, what I'm doing right now, is I've only tested it for Apple devices so I'm sorry I don't know exactly how this is going to work for Android devices but I do this um, extra step because I want to get the PDF instead of the text file to on my super note because it's easier for me to edit so I'm gonna click on make PDF right here and then I'm gonna click on share again and now I'm going to navigate to my cloud service that I use, which is going to be Dropbox. And then I make sure this is the folder that I want to upload it to, and I'm going to click Upload. Oh, I already have a file and by that name, so I'm just going to replace it. And then that's it for that piece. Now, once you finish sharing all of the voice text that you want to your Dropbox or to the cloud service of your choice, now you're going to sync your Supernote. And I'm going to speed this up a little bit here. So once your Supernote has finished syncing, it's just a matter of navigating to the folder that you saved the file in now. So I did it two different ways. So this first part, you're going to see the PDF version. So now I'm able to make my edits as possible, edit. And as well as I can take advantage of the digest feature here. Well, I don't think I'm doing this right. I don't really use the digest feature all that often. So I like that. And then I can delete it if I need to and then the other option is um, if you didn't do the make to PDF this is how it would come in as this is a text file so this is actually another file that I've um, imported in here so 
this is my instructions on how to do this, but this is now opening up in a Word document or a text document here. It's a little bit harder for me to edit using this way, so I choose not to do it this way. Just a quick recap of what the process looks like. So I'm using the Drafts app either on my phone or on my watch to capture any ideas I have on the go. And it doesn't disrupt my process of doing whatever it is I'm doing. And in case that I can't take out my super note in the event that it's either raining or something environmental, then I know that I'll have something that will capture my ideas using the Drafts app. Um, the second process is that once I'm in my office or in my desk, now I can actually sit down and share the voice memos that I did or voice dictations that I did to my super note, which I can later then edit um, on the PDF or the text file that I choose. Sometimes I have these little pockets of inspiration where I come up with these ideas that seem like a really good idea at the time and I can't write it down because of an environmental setting like the one I showed you where it's about to pour and I can't take out my super note but I need to write it down. So this workflow has completely transformed how I capture and refine ideas now using my super note. So anytime that I have any more of these sessions of pockets of inspiration, I am able to capture it using my watch or my phone because these are the two devices that I have more um, on me than my super note is my phone or my watch. So using the Drafts app enables me to just basically capture anything on the go now. So none of these pockets of inspiration are going to go missing or fall into a hole that I can't find anymore. Um, so that's why I like using this workflow because it basically adapts to my lifestyle as well. Another advantage that I've found from using this workflow is that I am not having to type as much. So for me, that actually allows me to just focus on the creative process of doing one of these posts instead of just starting from scratch and trying to think of what I'm going to say, what I'm going to include in the post. So this for me has made things so much easier for me. Since this workflow integrated with my second brain process so well in my using my super note, I didn't need to reinvent the wheel. So it makes it that much easier for me to export all of my notes to Obsidian, which I use very heavily. And that's it. And I'll share a link in the description below of written instructions on how to do this, as well as my user experience of using this workflow. And any other workflow ideas I may have, I'll also provide in the description below.